is what happened yesterday. <laughs> Adult film star Stormy Daniels gave a really detailed testimony, really detailed testimony about the allegations of sexual encounter with you know who. Since he denied having yeah. sex with her, the prosecution now has to put her up on the witness stand yep. to explain that they did have sex, that she was paid off, and that she was paid off so that it would not affect his campaign. Can I... It's beyond a reasonable, reasonable doubt. Reason. A doubt beyond that you can put a doubt. reason to. And I've but... got to tell you, having done this for about 30 years, mm -hmm. I think that they have done pretty well. But, the one... but does the jury believe her? And that it was all about credibility, and mm -hmm. that's why Trump's lawyers were hammering her and hammering her and hammering her. But, you know, if you, if you listen to some, some of the reporters in the courtroom, they're like, she seemed pretty believable. She yes. seemed pretty credible. Sonny Hostin has done this for 30 years. She is an expert, and everyone agrees with her. Them having sex was very relevant. And more importantly, Stormy came across as very credible, and she knocked it out of the park. Everyone says so. See for yourself. Let's start with whether they had sex at all. Utterly irrelevant. The material that came in was not relevant to this criminal case at all. And I think it shows that she was trying to get Trump. I actually thought there was a motive there. She said she hates him. She said she'd like to see him in prison. I think she was purposely throwing out this stuff to make sure the jury jurors were prejudiced, particularly the women jurors, but probably half of the men, too, were really put off. The cross-exam, boy, her responses were disastrous. I mean, do you hate Donald Trump? Yes, of course she does. That's a big deal. When the witness hates the person whose liberty is at stake, that's a big damn deal. And she's putting out tweets, fantasizing about him being in jail. That really undermines the credibility. And then we get to the details, the silk pajamas, the kind of lotion he was wearing. I can't imagine how the Court of Appeals in New York that reversed the Harvey Weinstein conviction, which was a harder case to reverse, uh, wouldn't reverse this conviction if it got up there. The fact that she owes him $500,000, she, by order of a court, owes Donald Trump a half million dollars and said, I will never pay him, I will defy a court order. The defense is going to say she's willing to defy a court order. Why? She's not willing to respect an order of a judge. Why is she going to respect this oath she took? This prosecutor is just following the roadmap of what you can't do. Having done this for about 30 years, I think that they have done pretty well. But the one